Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. I'm going to try to get to the point. And I'm going to try to make this video transparent and as clear as possible because I want you guys to understand uh, what's going on. All right. So uh, in case you guys don't know, uh, there's been an interview and a full fledged interview will be released sometime this week. I guess it was recorded. And in case you guys don't know, uh, former uh, NBA uh, multi all time uh, all star uh, first ballot Hall of Famer. Um, some people consider him one of the greatest point guards that ever played the game. NBA's uh, top 50 to top 75 greatest players. Uh, John Stockton has came out and defended Kyrie Irving. And he is, you know, basically saying he understands. He told Kyrie Irving to keep his head up. And he's saying he's in full support of Kyrie Irving. Now, if you look up John Stockton stands on the potion versus Kyrie Irving. Uh John Stockton has been very uh vocal about <laughs> about taking the potion to say the least. But once again, um he's under the complexion protection. Now you haven't had the media go after him like they have went after Kyrie Irving. Uh you haven't heard these uh these black media members and celebrities go after John Stockton, but you know, it's easy for them to call Kyrie Irving out his name and put him down and attack him. Because like I said, it's no protection for black men. If they have a difference of opinion, and if they don't follow a script and they don't do what Zaddy tell them to do. Now, Kyrie Irving has never really told people not to take the potion. He expressed his concerns he is pro-choice like I am. But see, there's this narrative that they push. If you don't do it, you're just anti or you're against it. I've never told people not to take it or to take it. Somebody that I talked to a couple of days ago, he's decided that he's going to take the potion. I didn't say don't do it. I said, okay. I know people that have took the potion. People in my family have took the potion where some people haven't. And I haven't attacked them. But then that's the narrative that they love to put on people who just say, hey, either not right now or or I just don't want it. You know, you know what it is. You got a lot of people on here trying to play scientists and, 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 and Doogie Hauser and they not Doogie Hauser, you know. So that's the problem. Like I said, I had people come at me about that. I had, a, a, you know, I had some bitch ass nigga uh, try to come at me about that. But, you know, the dude is a sucker anyway. I already knew he was a sucker from the gate, you know. But, you know, getting rid of him and getting him, blocking him was the best thing I could do. Now I'll have to hear his annoying, goofy, goofy voice. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, uh ball-headed uh Lewis Gossett Jr. reject looking bitch but you know nevertheless um that's how people did me and they you know instead of respecting my stance you know but that's how they do but that's black people for you it's amazing how people talk all that pro-black shit but then they let some white man with a history of racism who became the president encourage them to basically go against their own people but then they had the audacity to say that they're B1, more like bitch one. And it's a lot of people like that. But you see this narrative. If you look at John Stockton's stance, you would consider him more anti-potion than Kyrie Irving. But at the end of the day, uh, I respect John Stockton's stance. But you notice the media hasn't came after him. Barely have talked about this. But like I said, everybody got something to say about Kyrie Irving. You know, because here's the thing. People know it's easy to attack a black person. And for the most part, depending on how extreme it is, you can get away with it. And that's pretty much what they've done to Kyrie Irving. Now, there is a report going around that there is a, uh, you know, potion coming out that's plant-based Kyrie Irving is a is a vegetarian 
And Kyrie Irving has said that he would consider, you know, taking that form of potion. Now, I'm going to say this once again. If Kyrie Irving does decide to go that route, I'm not going to bash him for it. I think people need to get a better understanding of people's stance on something because that's what the media the media has did. For anybody that's asked questions about this shit, they've been deemed, oh, a conspiracy or, or anti. And it hasn't been fair how the media has treated people in behind this. Because like I said, I feel that motherfuckers that's talking about sports or playing movies are not qualified to tell people what they should do with their body and what to put in their bodies. But then when it comes to talking about reparations and and police brutality and, and other forms of racism and discrimination against blacks, then these black celebrities disappear. So fuck them now. But nevertheless, I just wanted to put that out there. Just wanted to say, you know, uh, to John Stockton, I respect John Stockton. I respect what, what he has to say. I respect his opinion. It's his opinion. And he has the right to express his opinion. But as you can see, they're suppressing him because, like I said, uh, the powers that be, they're pushing one agenda, and particularly the CNNs and, and all those people because they're being backed by these medical uh, industries. They're giving them some, you know, donations and giving them some access to, you know, jump the line if you catch my drift. But nevertheless, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out. Oh, once again, I want to say this because, like I said, I have to protect my brand. I always say this you're a content creator. Town Business Sports and ENT is not anti potion or pro potion. Uh, Town Business Sports and Entertainment is pro choice. Whatever you feel is best for you, that's what you should do. I'm out.